Ryan Grigson played primarily as an offensive lineman during his Boilermaker career in the early to mid-90s. Grigson says his days as a Boiler prepared him for his current job in his home state. In the first year on this job, I, I drew from those experiences because I looked at times, things I'd gotten through in sports and Purdue specifically um, to where I could draw from those things and say, you know what, I can get through this because I've been through you know, worse physically and mentally before. So it, I would definitely say that my experiences at Purdue helped me propel me to what, what I've done here. Grigson was a co-captain during his senior season with the Boilers. One of his fellow co-captains was star running back Mike Allstott, who said Grigson earned very high marks as a teammate. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. He was a great guy. You talk about a motivator. You talk about a team guy. You talk about a guy that's going to bust his ass. He, I mean, you know, everything that you need and want. And that's why I was a captain. All different types of people um, that I still, you know, hold near and dear to me that helped me get through tough times and help me grow as a human being and as just as an athlete and as a, as a student athlete. So um, I would say that, you know, because of those personal relationships, um, those that's probably at the core of why Purdue so near and dear to me. And I also, I would have to say that I met, met the mother of my five children there too. Another one of Grigson's teammates at Purdue was Rick Smith, the general manager of the Houston Texans. Purdue is believed to be the only university with two current NFL general managers. Both Grigson and Smith were consultants for Purdue Athletics Director Morgan Burke during his most recent football hire. The beauty of this of these two is the fact that they helped on the on the Daryl Hazel search and uh, I think my total payment to them was one Purdue uh, t-shirt or something like that, but uh, they were of invaluable assistance and just uh, gave up both their, their time and, uh, and effort to, to make that search go successful. So it's not only have they been successful, they're still finding a way to, to give back to their alma mater. I still marvel at the fact that we're the cradle of astronauts. I mean, that that's, to me is, that is a source of pride beyond words. I mean, the first and last man to walk on the moon our Purdue grads. That to me is so special. Then you have the cradle of quarterbacks and now you can throw the GMs in the mix. Maybe we're blazing a trail in that respect. Quite personable and very down to earth. Anyone that visits with Grigson also quickly picks up how much he loves his job. The people starting with the owner, Mr. Ursay, um, Pete Ward, Chuck Pagano, my scouts, you know, the people in the building. Um, there's a great energy here. Um, it's a family atmosphere. Um, I'm doing what I love. Uh, it's my passion. And just having those people around me that exude the same kind of energy that I do and, and they all are going in the same direction that I'm going and they all share that same vision, it's a, it's a real healthy environment to work in because you feel like everyone's going in the same direction. We're all kind of joined at the hip together. So that's, it's kind of easy. You, know, you really don't feel like you're working. You, know, you work the long hours, but I love it.